achievements and I'm going to attempt to get every single one in under 24 hours. Starting with the easiest all the way to the hardest. The first achievement is for a crafting table. Done. Next up is Stone Age. Completed. Then I'll get another achievement by upgrading to a stone pickaxe. Nice. These next few should be easy now. That is 11 achievements completed already. And if I complete 100% of these achievements in less than 24 hours and 17 minutes, I will beat the 1.18 world record. Next up is the Nether. There are 20 achievements for me to get here, but for now, we're just going to focus on nine, with the first being Return to Sender. To complete this, I have to hit a gas fireball back into it to kill it. Come here, Mr. Gas. And he's flown away. Come on. Yes. Next up is Those Were The Days. And to get that achievement, all I have to do is walk into a bastion. Is that one? Yes. So if I break this, I should anger all the piglins. Then by throwing this gold down here to distract them, that should get me the achievement. No shiny. Only three achievements left for me to get in the nether now. And to do them, I need to find a fortress and bass. There it is. The next achievement is for blaze rods. Nice. And for achievement number 23, I need to find 24 of the rarest block in the game, Ancient Debris. Apparently, the best chance of finding it is on level 14. And that's clearly right. I think this should get me the achievement. Yes. Now I just have to do that 23 more times. And that's 24 ancient debris obtained. Now for the achievement I spy, I have to locate a stronghold. Up until this point, everything had been going really, really well. But after getting this achievement, I made my first big mistake. The next two achievements I need are you need a mint and free the end. I think if I just use this glass bottle on the dragon's breath, that should work for the first one. Yes. However, for the next achievement, we have to kill the dragon and do it very quickly. I'm trying the bed strat so I can do it in one run. Come on. Come on. Please. Oh, no. I messed it up. It's going to heal up now. No. No, he's so low. Up until this point, I was ahead of the current world record. But that one mistake had cost me my lead. And he's finally dead. So now I have to get these next achievements insanely quickly. By throwing a pearl through here, this should get me the achievement. Remote gateway. Nice. Is that an end city there? Yes. I've never once entered one of these, so this could be quite difficult. Okay, brewing sand here. Let's drink this potion. Nice. Local brewery done. Diamonds and iron armor. That's another two achievements done. Now let's grab this elytra and that sky's the limit done. Come on, Mr. Shulker. Shoot something at me. Nice. That was a horrible experience, but I lived. Still yet to die. Enchanter is the next achievement on my list, and I need to get both these super rare enchants. Yes, I have all the enchants I need, and I've completed 35 achievements. In order to get the next achievement, Caves and Cliffs, you have to free fall from Sky Limit all the way down to Y-63. And I didn't think that this would cause me too many issues. But while I was digging the hole, this happened. <gasps> oh, you are joking me. Is that the run over? I think it takes five minutes for loot to despawn. I may be able to get my stuff back. Oh, no. I spawned down here. How can I get back up there? Wait, 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 wait. There is wood in the stronghold somewhere, right? I can craft a pickaxe and mine my way out of here, I think. Nice. Okay, we have to mine up quickly now. With a 500 block run for me to make, when I got to the surface, I had to be fast. Come on. Come on. I think it was over that way, wasn't it? Uh, yes, yes. That looks like it. Okay, how do I get down there? Oh, was it down this side? Yes! Oh my god, I found it! With just a few seconds spared, this one had been saved. But once again, I had made my time even worse. If I have any chance of beating this record, I need to get this in one attempt. Caves and Cliffs done. Next up is Glow and Behold. And to get this, I have to make the text on a signpost glow. Nice. Now I've got to make the sign. And type a word that only 17% of you have clicked on my channel. Hint, hint. Nice, that's completed. Achievement number 41 is the Uneasy Alliance. And this is one of the hardest achievements in the game to complete. In order to get it, you have to bring a ghast out of the nether into the overworld to then kill it. However, by shooting a crossbow just before you travel to the overworld, you can trick the game into giving you the achievement. This is extremely tricky to do. I've watched YouTube tutorials, so I'm a pro now. Come on, come on. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Uneasy Alliance completed. For the next achievement, Hot Tourist, I have to enter every nether biome. And by doing so, I should also get the achievement for traveling 5,000 blocks called Subspace Bubble. Yes! Let's go! The next achievement on my list, very, very frightening, I need Thunderfall. Thunder in Minecraft only has a 1.44% chance of spawning in, or in other words, every nine hours in real life time. But when Thunder does occur, you can get the achievement by throwing a trident with the enchant channeling at a villager. I already had the enchant channeling, but I did not have Thunder, I did not have a trident. So these are the mobs I have to kill to get it. I think they only have an 8% chance of dropping, though. So I am in need of some luck. Any trident? No. Nope. No trident from this one. I got copper. How are we going to get copper before I get a trident? 
This is actually impossible. I'm gonna have to just try again later. Hopefully the achievement cover me in debris should be a bit easier. To do this, you upgrade diamond armor to netherite armor. That is the achievement done. Then if I upgrade this diamond hoe to netherite one, that's serious dedication completed. Following that, using these tools and armor to help me, we need to start and end a village raid. If we shoot and kill this guy, that should get us the achievements voluntary exile and who's the pillager now. Then to help me fight off this village raid, we built an iron golem. Boom! We fought off this raid and got the achievement Hero of the Village. Sound of music. For this one, I think I need to play some music in a meadow biome. That was surprisingly easy. Now we have to shoot an arrow into the perfect center of this target. Bullseye! We are now just ahead of this world record, but only by a few minutes, so we need to keep this pace up. Is that a woodland mansion? It is! That's perfect, actually, as one of my achievements post-mortal requires me to use a totem of undying to cheat death, and I think I can get one in here. Right, this is the mob who drops it, but they're kind of OP. See what I mean? There we go. Now I really, really hope this works. Yes! Oh, thank God that worked. Achievement 57 is Zombie Doctor. And to do this, I need to find an igloo. Aha! So if we feed the zombie this and wait... Okay, that took much longer than I hoped, but it's done. Star Trader is the next achievement, and this is a very difficult one to pull off. To do it, you have to trade with the villager at sky limit. I followed a guide and built this elevator, and I think by putting the villager in the boat there, we should now make it all the way up to Y319 with the villager as well. Yes, yes, it's working. Okay, now all we have to do is do a simple trade. Done. Yes, we are making serious progress. Ooh, are those phantoms? This is perfect, actually, because I still have to get the achievement two birds, one arrow. And to do that, I have to shoot and kill birds. Both these phantoms using just one arrow. Completed. Feels like home. For this one, I have to ride a strider in the overworld in some lava. Yes, done. Speaking of the nether, I now need every ounce of luck I can as for the next achievement, Spooky Scary Skeleton, I have to get a Wither Skeleton Skull. And these only have a 2.5% chance of dropping. Come on. Come on. Yes! That is now every nether achievement completed. Despite how well I felt I was doing, I'd once again fallen behind on time by a significant amount. If I don't make up some time now, I'm going to fail this record. I'm going to take a risk and try and get the trident again. Then, fingers crossed, if I do get lucky and thunder hits fairly soon, I can break this record. Oh, I do see some mobs with some tridents down there. But I need every ounce of RNG luck to be in my favor here. Come on. Come on. Yes! Finally! That is perfect. So while I'm waiting for lightning to strike, I'm going to attempt Arbalistic. I've never heard of this achievement before, but apparently to get it, you have to shoot and kill five different mobs with one crossbow shot. Yes! Next, I have to spawn in and kill the toughest mob of the game, the Wither. And I have to do this very quickly. There is a way that you can trap the Wither underneath the end portal, and that will make it a lot easier to kill. But if I do it wrong, I'm basically guaranteed to die. Oh, yes, it's working. This should be easy now. Nice. That was a massive time save. Now I need to head back to the end city because to get the achievement great view from up here, I have to move a distance of 50 blocks vertically after getting hit by a shulker. Why didn't that work? Yes. That's a... I very nearly just died. But that is now 78 achievements completed. I'm still behind the world record, but I think I can make a late comeback. I got to believe myself. The next two achievements are bring home the beacon and beaconator. Thankfully, I've already collected a ton of gold. So I think I have enough to craft a full powered beacon and using my wither star, I can also craft the beacon itself. Yes, there are now five achievements for me to get using bees. So if I use this glass bottle and then shear this, that should be another three achievements done. And slide on this. Let's go. Okay, there's three achievements left, all of which require lightning, but I am still behind the world record. I was concerned that perhaps while I was in the nether, the lightning had already been and gone. And if that had happened twice, the likelihood was that the lightning wouldn't strike again until hour 27. And if that was the case, the last 22 hours I'd spent would be all for nothing. My fate is entirely in the game's hands. And the game did not want to offer up any more luck. I was convinced that the time was going to keep ticking on until I failed. But then, my patience paid off. Oh my god, that's lightning, isn't it? Yes! Come here, Mr. Villager, let me break the record. Come on! Yes! I got all three achievements. We officially managed to get all 92 Minecraft achievements in 22 hours and 9 minutes. 